So I do feel like big, big um, emotional rewards. And I do sense um, this energy for this month, honestly, it's a little bit difficult. It's like a lot of um, this waviness, you know, ups and downs. But I do feel like by the end of the month, you're going to be like, I'm glad that happened. Because um, there's a lot of information coming through for you. And I feel that it's forcing you to... Um, it's forcing you to move ahead. So if you found that things have been stagnating, this is the month in which, you know, things are being accelerated and pushed along, okay? So whatever that means for you guys, it's going to play out differently. But either way, it's kind of like, it, it's kind of like a similar energy to the Virgo, you know, enough's enough. What am I doing here? Uh, what is it? What is my end goal here? And what am I trying to achieve? And I feel that it, it's forcing you to push forward with something. So if you've been sitting on the sidelines hesitating, I do sense that you're starting to see the forest for the trees and you're starting to see this um, path clearing up for you so that you know how to proceed forward with something, okay? So let's talk about your uh, work and finances. We do have the Eight of Pentacles as well as the Seven of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles, I'm, I feel like this is like sending out resumes, um, perfecting your resume, um, adding in your most recent um, work title, job title, so that you can send it out to potential employers. And I do feel a lot of options are opening up for you. A lot of you might be contemplating, you know, a career change. You have a lot of experience under your belt, possibly in the same sector, where the job duties were like pretty monotonous. You're doing the same thing over and over and over again, and you're looking for a change in scenery. You're looking for something that is appealing a little bit more to your heart level. So I feel like financially you're in a good space, but I do sense emotionally you might want to expand to a different industry to a different um, type of a different company even or just you know like doing a 180 fantasizing about that ideal job and thinking about realistically how you're going to be able to get there based on the work experience that you have under your belt so far and what you can do to increase your odds of attaining like a, this uh, you know really big job a lot of you are trying to get um, you know like your credentials like I feel additional training comes to mind I feel like taking some type of uh, credit in order to get license or even um, renewing your license by attending seminars, by going to workshops and doing something in order to get your license. And I feel almost like there might be a little bit of a time crunch. I feel that this is going to be a really, really big month for you. There's a lot of responsibilities, things that are like... Um, on the practical front that needs to be taken care of, like that needs to be filled in. A lot of logistical uh, stuff has to happen in a very methodical, you know, like getting all your ducks lined up in a row so that you can achieve a really, really, really big emotional or even a financial reward, okay? So you're in the process and you're, I feel like you're more than halfway there. There are only a few things left that you need to do. And um, I feel that it's almost like, the Eight of Pentacles is like, it's telling you, you know, two more months. So I feel like by possibly uh, October, November even, some things are going to come in and it's going to bring like the culmination point, okay? So big, I, I feel like big financial rewards and at least I see you branching out of your normal comfort zone in order to achieve something, to pursue something. And I feel job descriptions, um, job resumes and things like that, CVs being sent out, cover letters being um, perfected, things being like spell checked so that you can send it out. And I feel like in about two months time, the rewards will come in for you, okay, on the financial front. Now in terms of health and um, yeah, I feel like this is more health because your financial situation looks very stable right now. So health physical health as well as emotional health okay so let's talk about this situation first we do have the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles when it comes to like um on a foundational level it indicates a spiritual lack not having faith in ourselves feeling um this sense of low self-esteem lack of self-confidence and things like that and um, I honestly feel that there might have been some type of a childhood or even something from the past where you felt like this, okay? And growing up in this type of an environment, I feel that you have to be very, very careful and cautious about spending. So a lot of you might be... Um, 
a lot of you might have held on or hoarded a lot of material things. So that means, you know, uh, living very, very frugally so that you can uh, save up a lot of money. And I feel like this is the month in which whatever you've been saving up, it might be you might start to see, hey, there's a reason I've been doing this. I was compelled to do it all these years, and now I don't know why, but I feel like, you know, there's a reason why there is, um, that I, I was doing it all these years. Like, you felt like you were pushed to save up a lot of resources, and this is the month in which, you know, you might start to realize why you're doing this, okay? What I also feel is that this is a very, very karmic card. It indicates having some type of um, karmic relationship with another person, like um, two people who are kind of out in the cold. They've been through a lot of hardships in their own respective life. They understand where the other person is coming from, and they're going to ride it out through thick and thin. So I feel like this is a, a couple's card. It's linked up with the star, so it indicates to me some type of a soul connection with another person. The star is whenever it shows up as luminary, and tied in with a karmic card, six of pentacles or even the um, five of pentacles. It's basically like someone who is astrologically very aligned with us, okay? So I feel like you might have some type of a sun-moon interchange. So for example, there, uh, if, you're a tur if you are a Taurus sun, they might be a Taurus moon. If you have like, you know, a uh, Taurus rising, they might have a Taurus... Um, Sun. So I feel like some type of a astrological interchange between the signs is in store. So they might even be an Aquarius. So, you know, Aquari if you have like Aquarius uh, sun, they might have Aquarius moon. If you have Aquarius moon, they might have some type of... Um, some, some type of a compati deep compatibility based on astrological placements between your chart, which indicates to me a very strong karmic connection in which you don't have to over explain yourself to the other person. They understand you on a very like, em like telepathic level. Okay, so this is a really good indicator of meeting a soulmate. Or if you haven't met your soulmate, there is an opportunity for this coming in, crossing paths with another person. And I feel like this is somebody who is going to um, stick by you through thick and thin. For a lot of you, it might be a mentor to help you... Um, streamline some work processes to come in and give you some type of financial guidance. For others of you, it could be like a lot of healing, um, you know, like a therapist, a uh, somebody that is giving you a lot of strength in order to weather a very tough situation. So that can also be like a mentorship, a spiritual soulmate. But in a way, I feel like it is, it is a, a soulmate connection that you're solidifying or forming with another person and it's very, very fruitful. Uh, the last thing that I want to emphasize with both of these uh, cluster is that you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel is pretty much what I'm feeling. If you've been through, like, you know, the past five years, a lot of financial hardships, financial worries, or even um, having a very tumultuous, rocky relationship because you both were trying to build up your foundation together or you yourself were trying to build up your foundation. This is the month in which money comes in. So foundationally, you know, financially, you're okay. And then emotionally, you're going to start to do a lot of healing. You're going to overcome a lot of past issues when it comes to your own sense of self-worth, your own sense of self-esteem, your own sense of like not having enough, not feeling abundant. I feel that you're going to get this massive outpouring of love and support um, from people around you, but also from the universe to tell you that, hey, you've actually, you know, uh, been through a lot. You push through it and you're starting to see that, you know, the dawn breaking or the, the light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like it's going to happen in... Um, in a very big way. So this is not like a, a major thing where, you know, someone compliments you and you're just like, hey, I feel good. This is happening in a very deep soul level. You're getting some type of validation, confirmation, wish fulfillment, like, you know, getting that big executive job with the executive salary. Something really big is happening for you guys. And I feel like for especially if you've been putting in resumes and you've been like struggling financially, I feel like it's going to pan out for you guys in a really big way. Okay. So congrats, Taurus. Um, what I'm also sensing here is um, we do have some decisions that are coming through for you and these are major, major, major life decisions. So first of all, let's talk about this, the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a situation where someone is like um, blindfolded 
and um, they feel as if they don't have all the information that they need in order to make a decision. Their intuition is like screaming out, hey, you got to do this or you want to avoid this. There's Your intuition has been telling you all along, like your intuition is telling you, you actually don't need to hold off on this decision. You know what you need to do. But I feel like there's a sense of like avoidance, you know, avoiding change, avoiding like, oh, I, I don't think I'm good enough, you know, because once again, that sense of self-doubt um, I also feel like for a lot of you, let me see here. I feel like for a lot of you, I'm sensing for a lot of you, this might be um, on the emotional front, okay? This might be on the emotional front. And I feel like if you are dealing with a situation where someone has, has like kept information hidden and you're you realize there's something more to this story, but you were too afraid to ask, or you felt like, I don't really want to encroach upon, upon their boundaries because I feel like when they're ready, they'll talk to me. This is the month in which you're going to have some type of a breakthrough in which the other person works up the courage to tell you something, okay? And we also have the strength card, which indicates, it's a major arcana. It indicates inner, outer strength, but it's also having the fortitude to really push through something. I definitely feel that you're dealing with someone um, just for some of you, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very seductive, who might have, um, you know, like, like they, they, there's a sense of magic about them. Okay. So they might seem like too good to be true. And I feel like they make you a little like, like there's a sense of like, um, um, manipulation, there's a sense of magic. There's a sense of like um, using glamour in order to 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 fool you into believing they are a certain way. And I feel like you're practical enough I and mean, you're a smart sign. And I feel that deep down you knew there was more to the story. And I feel like this is the month in which that is coming out, okay? Like, like that, that glamour is wearing off. You're seeing a situation realistically for what it is. And I feel that you're going to have to make a decision here. So I don't sense this information is coming to light for some of you until the last week of the month and what you decide to do with it i feel like it's a point of no return okay um this information is being brought to light for a reason and it's something that you have to know so when something big like this comes out into the open you are gonna have to make a decision here so it's not good for you to ignore uh, sweep it under the rug pretend it didn't happen i feel like the you know like how you have a conversation with someone and they sit uh, they like slip up right and you're just like, wait, did they really do that? And then you wait and then, you know, it takes you like days or even weeks to bring up that conversation, to approach that person with that conversation. And then they try to tell you, hey, that was like weeks ago. I don't remember what I said. So I feel like someone is slipping up around you and you knew it was going to happen. Someone is slipping up. Whenever that moment happens, just confront them right away. Because I feel like, I feel like, you had inkling about something and you were trying to, you know, it, it has been a perplexing thing. Um, and I feel that you're getting some help here to clear up this situation because I feel like it's telling you, you know, once again, it's a deep, deep rooted month for spiritual awakening, for renewal in faith and for re renewal in religion, in spirituality. So you're getting some type of validation, some type of confirmation that, you know, you, you need to know something. And when it comes in, that's your confirmation. That's your validation, okay? So don't sit too long with the information because I feel like the spiritual insight might go away. But I feel like someone is, like, seducing you. Someone is, like, giving you this rose, painting you this beautiful picture. And it's not what it seems. So be very careful about being manipulated or taken in by a pretty face is what I'm feeling. Someone is working their magic, their glamour. What you see is not what you get. And you know this. You, you've, like, felt this all along. And you were looking for validation, okay? Um, in terms of um, what's coming in, travel and movement, we do have the chariot and the justice card. Um, speeding tickets, this combination is not good for moving about, like moving violations, okay? Justice and the chariot. The chariot uh, traditionally deals with like uh, 
uh, mode of transportation. So these cards are created long ago before the advent of, you know, like um, the locomotive and the cars and things like that. So it deals with in our modern days, just, you know, the vehicle issues. So be really careful about law enforcement and um, having to pay money out to a court system, you know, so speeding tickets, driving under the influence, be very, very careful about that. Um, Taurus, be very, very careful. So it usually happens a lot when um, Mercury's, Mercury's in retrograde. So just be careful about moving violation tickets and things like that, okay? A lot of you might have to handle some type of um, vehicle transferring, transferring vehicle to a different person, transferring titles, transferring registration, adding another insurance um, policy on a vehicle, or even adding another name. I feel something related to the vehicle, either like um, via tickets or... Um, via policy okay so adding another person changing it out changing titles so all of these things are coming in the other way in which this can happen for you guys is that i feel like if you are dealing with some type of a divorce issue there's going to be some forward momentum and progression happening with this and i do feel it's going to close out it's going to get streamlined things will be accelerated so that you're not going to be on hold anymore okay so i feel like if you're dealing with divorce situation you're dropping a huge baggage and you're going to be able to move on past this situation and other likewise I feel like if you have been um, trying I, I'm sensing like trying to get married trying to move in together trying to add another person into your life in a um, I guess like in a lawful manner because the justice deals with you know the judicial system as well that's coming in and the roadblocks are gonna clear up so that you can move ahead with this situation okay the chariot also indicates a big, big win. So I do feel contracts and things like that being signed overall. And I feel like uh, consulting people for legal advice or you might be sought out for some type of property advice. And there will be, you know, official contracts that are coming through with this as well. Now, in terms of your advice here, we do have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's talk about this first. The Seven of Pentacles is a card about reassessment, okay? Assessing a situation to see how we want to proceed. It's also assessing a situation to see how it's going to fit into our lives, okay? So you're going to have to shuffle some things around in order to make, uh, to fit in another thing in your life. It's like rearranging the pieces, rearranging furniture, uh, rearranging the house, even decorating the house house and it's it's like managing things playing playing almost like playing tetris where you are rearranging stuff in order to fit more stuff in that's the first message i'm getting um this is also a card where we are waiting for something to come to fruition and um for some of you if it has been something that was very problematic, something very, very trying, and especially if it deals with some unhealthy cord of attachment between you and another person, I feel that you are going to have to leave this situation behind for good, okay? If you are dealing with an air sign, specifically Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, that you have been linked up with in a marital type of a situation, and you've been having some problems, and you were like... um either separated or dealing with some type of a legal proceeding, I definitely feel this situation is going to come to an end, especially if it pertains to that uh, environment. And you're going to be able to break free from this bond of attachment so that you can move forward and pursue other areas of your life. But I do feel waiting for something to, something to culminate, to come to fruition so that you can drop your load and to move forward, okay? So a lot of things are happening for this month and I do feel that forward progression is kind of like the point of no return forward progression and things like that. Um, if you are specifically dealing with like extracting yourself from a previous marriage or even like getting married to another person, um, I do feel like more, you know, lost stuff and things like that that needs to be finalized, that needs to be tied up. But aside from that, everything else looks very stable. And I don't sense that it has, it requires a lot of effort from your end. Um, I feel like it's just telling you, here's what you need to know. Make a decision. That's that's pretty much what I'm feeling. So I don't feel like you're going to have to, like, um, I don't sense that you're going to have to get your hands dirty, exert a lot of energy. It's just more like, here's what you need to know, 
and you need to make a decision and you need to decide on a course and a direction that you need to go. So it's a very satisfying um, type of energy coming through for this month in which something is being cut to, uh, put to an end so that something else can emerge, okay?